Okay, it is Sunday at 3.42 and we're going to start Handling Fees, An Unfair Advantage Part 2. Yeah, something happened. I was browsing the internet over on YouTube. I came across this YouTube video and it relates a story of a guy who <clears throat> went in to get paid on his recycling, $10.25. <clears> they <throat> wouldn't pay him. <clears throat> Turns out that he had passed the expiration date of the voucher. The voucher had originally been 30 days for a long time, and then all of a sudden they changed it to immediate. You had to cash the voucher on the same day. Now one of the things that the legislature wanted was for this to be convenient. And a lot of people will save up their vouchers and go in at one time. Ask the folks in the grocery store. And then ask the folks in the grocery store how they feel about being, having to tell these people that they didn't cash it in time. And now the amount of those happening has increased exponentially because most people had no clue that these vouchers had to be done on the same day. All right, so what happens, this guy tells you in his little story. I will put his YouTube video in the comments. And uh, you can follow him and see if he has a part two. Part two will be if he ever gets paid. And uh, I did uh, have a chance to speak through another person to him. And as of the time we spoke, he had not been paid. And he hasn't posted a part two, so... That would be if he gets paid. Well, now, handling fees. The bottom line is, if Replanet is getting reimbursed and paid handling fees for things that it's not paying for, that again represents a potentially substantial amount of money. And it's money that the competitors cannot make, i.e., I can't tell my people I won't pay them and uh, get free material. But replant it, and probably its predecessor, Tamra, perfected that. And the department has allowed it. Now, I do my research, so what do we come up with? Uh, I will also post this in the comments section. In statute, Redeem says that the, uh, the refund must be paid and that the department has authority over redemption payments, uh, that they need an auditing system to, and that they, they are required to audit and investigate. Uh, and then uh, 14572 is one of the primary, it says the consumer shall be paid. Now if you go in and you're told your, your voucher is no good, the consumer is not getting paid, it's not complying with statute. And then we have uh, 14585, uh, departments shall adopt guidelines for paying handling fees. Don't you think this should be considered and should have been considered whenever it started? And I'll bet it goes back a ways. And then uh, script is to be redeemed within the store to be eligible for handling fee payments. So that's already saying that if you didn't pay the redemption, you don't get to claim the handling fees. And I'll bet a bunch have been claimed. Now, one quick uh, final statute. Uh, I think that this should be considered unfair and predatory pricing. Uh, no one else gets to uh, deny payments in any way, shape, or form. If we go into the regulations, it says no, there is no provision for an expiration. Don't find it. And absent that provision, there is no authority. That's how law works in my mind. Okay, uh, recyclers shall make payments in accordance with section 2535. Handling fees should be withheld for materials not redeemed. Uh, payment options do not include an expiration date uh, when you look into the payment section. And uh, recyclers shall pay consumers. So based on all this, we think that there should be no expiration date on these vouchers and that the department needs to go in and audit and see what the significance of this has been. And we can now go back five years because of a budget bill in 2013-14, uh, which extended the statute of limitations to five years. 
So, another way that the system and handling fees are being manipulated, and it's a substantial amount of money. When you get rates, the handling fee, handling fee and redemption is maybe 10, 15, 20 times the normal amount of profit that a recycler would earn on, on the material. It's a substantial shot in the arm. Anyway, another look at uh, handling fees and unfair advantage, part two. Leonard Lang, Upper Room Consulting. I'm in Cypress, California. We're going to give you new ways to get in touch with us shortly. But for today, this is it, and you are aware. Tell a friend. Like me. Favorite me. Watch me. We're going to save the bear. I have a picture over here. I say California business is the bear and there are three buzzards or maybe California condors. Regulations, laws, bureaucracy. They all work against us. We'll talk about bureaucracy and the lack of competency and how you can prove it and what needs to be done to fix it. We'll talk about the laws because the laws give the ability for regulations to spawn and we'll talk about the process. So stay tuned. A lot to learn. And good day.